If you're like most people, owning a home is probably one of your biggest financial goals. And who can blame you? Having a house to call your own is not only a great achievement, but it's also a key way to build long-term wealth. Well, here's some great news. The feds are making it easier for you to do just that with none other than accessory dwelling units. Discover how ADUs are the secret weapon for homeowners looking to invest in their property and maximize their cash flow. With the skyrocketing real estate prices, ADUs offer a more affordable way to expand your living space, generate rental income, and increase your property value. Suppose you're on the hunt for a new home and you're eyeing a property that already has an ADU. That's a fancy term for an accessory dwelling unit. Then listen up. Thanks to a new policy from the FHA, you can now count 75% of the estimated rental income from the ADU toward your ability to qualify for an FHA-insured mortgage. In other words, if you plan on renting out the ADU for extra cash, you can include that income when applying for your mortgage. Plus, since the FHA is a government-backed program designed to help people with lower credit scores or smaller down payments, this policy could be a real game-changer for those looking to buy a home with an ADU. This new policy could also be great news for homeowners with an ADU on their property who want to refinance or take out a home equity loan. By including that rental income in their calculations, they may be able to access more financing options than they could before. But wait, there's more. We will dive deeper into the nitty gritty of ADUs and how they can benefit you in various ways. And before I tell you how to take control of your financial future and discover how ADUs can help you thrive in the housing market, Please take two seconds to help me out and hit the like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so far. Each like and subscribe is fuel for the algorithm that helps support this channel. Thank you. Now, back to what I was saying. The Federal Housing Administration just revealed a new policy that could help you qualify for a mortgage on a property with an accessory dwelling unit. This means you could make some extra cash by renting out an ADU and still be eligible for an FHA loan. Basically, your rental income from the ADU will be counted as part of your qualifying income, which is awesome news for those of us who are looking to invest in a property with a little extra space. The FHA calls it a game changer, and we can see why. The new policy will make it easier for borrowers to qualify for financing and encourage more property owners to add ADUs to their homes. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? So if you've been considering buying a property with an ADU, now might be a great time to take the plunge. Who knows? You could be well on your way to building a profitable rental business. History shows that housing markets are constantly ebbing and flowing, making it difficult for many people to enter. However, with the rise of ADUs, more homeowners are gaining access to affordable options that can help them build wealth over time. Although ADUs are not new, their role in the housing market is gaining more attention and recognition. There is a growing interest in promoting ADUs as a solution for affordable housing and urban density. From city initiatives to state policies, projects like the Accessory Dwelling Unit Handbook in Seattle and California are just a few examples of how municipalities actively promote ADUs. During the annual press conference the Mortgage Bankers Association held, Assistant Secretary for Housing and Federal Housing Commissioner Julia Gordon highlighted the significance of providing mortgage support to more individuals. By doing so, she expressed that it would not only aid in creating wealth for them, but also help to increase the inventory of properties in underprivileged areas that lack adequate housing facilities. As we strive to create a more inclusive and equitable society, it is crucial to acknowledge and address the existing gaps in our society. Julia Gordon underscored that more families can experience financial stability and a sense of belonging by extending mortgage support. This will eventually lead to the development and growth of these communities, resulting in a win-win situation for everyone involved. Furthermore, with the economy taking a hit due to the pandemic, such initiatives can be a silver lining amidst the post-pandemic chaos. This opportunity to invest in property can provide a much-needed boost to the housing market, which has been stagnant in the past few months. Now, you might be thinking what ADU actually is. These cute little homes can be built on the same property as your main house, such as a carriage house or an in-law suite. ADUs are awesome because they provide flexible living arrangements, like housing for family members or rental units for additional income. It's like having your cake and eating it too. 
you still have your main house to live in, but you can also make extra money by renting out the ADU. You can rent it out short term or long term, depending on your preference. It's like having a mini apartment building, but you're the landlord. ADUs are a great way to use extra space on your property while diversifying your income streams. Plus, they're super trendy right now, so you'll live in style. Building a whole new unit might not be the easiest thing to afford. However, the Federal Housing Administration, FHA, has a program that allows you to use the estimated rental income from your ADU to help you qualify for a mortgage under their standard 203k Rehabilitation Mortgage Insurance Program. Basically, this means that when you apply for a loan to build your ADU, instead of just relying on your current income, you could also use the income you'd potentially make from renting out your ADU. And get this, the FHA will even let you use up to 50% of that income to qualify for the loan. So why is this important? Building an ADU can be a great way to help you afford your home and even make some extra money. Plus, it can help with the affordable housing crisis by giving people more rental options. The FHA understands this and wants to help those without much income build an ADU. A similar government program, Section 8, run by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, also allows rental incomes from ADUs to be considered part of a household's gross annual income. However, there are some eligibility requirements for tenants under this program. These include income limits and household size, which may vary depending on the area. Additionally, landlords must comply with certain housing quality standards set by HUD. However, the current trend of promoting ADUs as affordable housing options is expected to bring more flexibility and opportunities for both homeowners and tenants alike. According to the FHA, FHA-approved lenders may begin offering borrowers mortgages on properties with ADUs under the new policies effective immediately. Yes, you read that right, immediately. It's time to start living your ADU dreams, guys. It gets even better. According to Mark Fleming, chief economist at First American, this decision by the FHA makes total sense. Why? Because when borrowers take on a mortgage for a multifamily unit, rental income is always considered, and the same rules should apply to ADUs. They are a source of income for homeowners, after all. Let's take an example. Suppose you have your main house and an ADU on the same property. You're currently renting out the ADU for $1,500 a month. You can use $750 of that rental income to qualify for a mortgage under this new policy. That's 50% of the rental income. To simplify it further, it's just like having a roommate in your main house, but the roommate lives in a separate unit. And who doesn't love some extra income? Those interested in exploring the ADU option should also keep in mind the zoning and building codes applicable to their property. Some cities and states have specific guidelines for ADUs, such as size limitations or parking requirements. For example, in Portland, Oregon, ADUs must not exceed 800 square feet and must provide one off-street parking spot, while in Austin, Texas, the maximum size limit is 1,100 square feet and no additional parking space is required. So, there you have it. The FHA's decision is a major win for homeowners with ADUs or planning to build one. With more financing options available, it's now easier than ever to turn your backyard into a rental income stream. Time to break out the champagne! Thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment below letting me know if you'll take advantage of this opportunity. Thank you!